<laughs> Shit. So, I don't think, so I don't know what the hell is going on. Not doing some weird stuff. Doing some weird stuff. Can you even see me? Who's there? Let me know if you can see me. Check.
You can see me? Mute though. Hell yeah, dude. Of course, brother. I do anything. Yeah, any way I can help. Any, any, any of you guys that um are here like helping me, then I'm gonna do it. Bottom line. If that's what you need, what time are you? What time are you trying to do it? Let me try to put it on the schedule. And the only way that I will get, you know, that will change is if I get vetoed. By the way, which is cool too. But yeah, that's just how it is. That's how it goes. Um, that's what I did. That's, that, that's what I did. I'm gonna go ahead and try to get going with it with this with this stream. I'm going to make a video at the same time here in a second, but like growing up with my dad owning the gas station and the liquor store, a lot of time cleaning up my dad's, uh, <laughs> my dad's driveway or not driveway, parking lot, whatever. And doing that, like I, I ran across all kinds of lotto tickets all the time. Right. Well, one time I picked one up and won five hundred damn dollars doing it. Right, I hit five hundred dollars three times before I was eighteen. Seriously, okay, yeah, that'll work, Majors. Sure, no problem. Um, but uh, uh, one time, I mean, the other two times I won five hundred dollars, I paid for that, you know, for those tickets. But uh, the first time I won 500 bucks because I went around and I picked up trash. And people, you'd be surprised the people that like overlook things. For example, these are the tickets that I picked up today. Uh, this is from the garbage can on the inside of the store, which you got, that's what the whole lowering your pride part's about. These tickets have been scanned and checked. Well, I think they have anyway because the bottom's scratched off right here with the barcode. These tickets in Georgia, these thirty dollars, thirty dollar jobs, as my dad used to say, thirty dollar jobs right here. These get a second uh, entry into the uh, ten million dollar drawing. Um, I've picked up like fifteen of these and entered every time. Enter them into my um, on Georgia lottery. And hell, if I won ten million dollars doing that, I'm definitely gonna be uh, giving some charity money away for show. Uh. Uh, like one that I found today, no, no, nothing, nothing. I mean, I got one ten dollar bill that's got a star on it. Been that simple. Left those two complete unscratched ones um, in the car, and my wife's got the car. But here's an example of why it's worth doing this. Um, these haven't been checked with barcodes at the bottom and I haven't gone through them to see if they're winners or not more than like I can kind of tell that this one's probably not because it's a bunch of symbols and you have to just match three symbols to get the win so more likely this is not the winner right here but it's it's worth a shot and this one is be a, take a little bit longer to check because there's um, eight numbers into the match the other two I got like this weren't scratched off at all, but they had been checked. At least somebody scratched the barcode off. More than likely, they were not winners. That's probably why I left them in the car. Um, and then you'll find random ones like these I got from the other day. I didn't pick these up today. Um, these are ten dollar tickets, twenty dollar or ten, no ten five ten ten. But like for example, the other day I got this one in the parking lot. All of this right here was scratched off, except the top row that tells you which numbers you're looking for. 
Unfortunately, this one did not win anything. Um, let's see. This one, these in particular are like the double plays, quote unquote. And like, if you don't match a number on top off the prize, and if you get three like prizes, you win that. Four had this had the prizes scratched off. It was just the top, and they hadn't been checked. But I scratched the bottom parts, and I didn't have any matches. So, yeah, whatever. But like I said, would you leave them there, or do you think it'd be worth a shot? My wife is always like, God, I can't believe you're gonna walk around picking up lottery tickets off the, off of them parking lot. I'm like, I'm I'm okay with getting free money. I mean, if you don't want, if like one of these hits, babe, and you don't want that money, that's fine. Cause I'll take it out to Vegas and get flights for a few weekends. You know what I'm saying? Um, you see my point though. You see my point, man. Um, so I'm gonna actually gotta get the camera set up here. Hey, I went and got a new stand. I can't tell if it's actually showing the camera or the phone. Let's see. Yeah, you can't kind of see it. But here's the tripod. Like the other one I had, except for orange. And the other one I had just broke. Um, the cool little macro lens. It's up there. But I can't, it doesn't do anything worth a crap. Hey, Tessa, what's up, girl? Um, I've, everything I just told you, Majors and Lee, I'm going to say all that over again when I start recording. But I was going to do like a behind the scenes. I need to re rename this because I didn't think it was going to go live because my computer is acting so weird. I need to rename this. And um. little intro um, sneak peek because they already know what's going on is I I grew up in my dad's liquor store a gas station uh, I used to go walk around um, collect tickets off the you know off, as trash like because most of the time they're scratched off and checked up on every once in a while and I won $500 three times before I was 18, I think the first time, to be honest, God, I can't remember. Um, the first time I won uh, 500 was, yeah, I paid for that one. It was after we had already closed because I was like, kind of like getting cocky, like, I'm going to play lottery and I'm not 18, you know, that kind of thing. And then um, the time after that, I won five hundred dollars because I found a damn ticket on the ground that hadn't been scratched off all the way. It had been scratched off like, like it was. It was actually a jumbo buck like this, except for it was a two dollar one. Like all the bottom had been scratched, but the the uh, matching numbers hadn't been scratched. So the matching numbers, and sure enough, one matched and it had five hundred dollars written up under it. As a thirty year old man trying to survive, uh. Hence the name Survival Lottery. I um, anytime I go by any gas station, for that matter, I check in the in the trash, and if there ain't like a bunch of spit and like crap all over a ticket, I'll pick them up, and I'll explain. I got like I got some pretty decent ones right here, and then I found one that wasn't even scratched off at all. It's like people get into a hurry. This one on top right here hasn't been scratched. It's like people get in this big old damn hurry and don't finish them. And I'm talking about like this person that bought all these uh, red ones right here. It's 25 bucks. There's two, three, four, five, six, seven. I bet you that eighth one won, and that's why it wasn't in the trash. $200. Yeah. $200 on these damn things. And threw them away. And so I'm just going to double check that they didn't leave any behind. 
You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know, and that's the only reason I say about low on the broad part is like most people are like like that's beneath them or something to uh go pick up tickets. It's me, man. I pay I mean I won the majority of my lottery winnings from Georgia from, t from picking up tickets off the ground. No not lying, not joking, not fibbing, not stretching the truth, nothing. Five hundred dollar one. I about. I, I quit. Like I, I told my dad, I quit. I, like, I quit. And he was like, "Well, if you were a no, normal employee, I'd understand that, and I'd go ahead and say you go ahead and have a good uh, weekend. But seeing as you're my son, you can just shut the hell up and get back to work. <laughs> kind of like that. Man. And I'm like, okay, sorry, Dad. This is actually one, and then two, three, four aren't here. So, or even five aren't here. So. More than likely, those were winners out of this group. Whoever spent two hundred dollars, which would have been more than two hundred dollars, had been three hundred dollars. I just can't think about going to the gas station and dropping three hundred dollars on twelve tickets. Is that right? Twenty-five dollars a piece. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever. But they get into a hurry, right? And then they miss them in hell. Profit. Out of nothing. And I'm going to scratch this one on the video. I. To. Hold on. Two weeks ago, stopped at the side of the road and got some really cool stuff. Like, you found just like shit on the road, side of the road, and it was good, good stuff. I mean,. There ain't nothing wrong with that in my mind, especially in my situation now where I'm like gimped in the brain for life, I suppose. I don't know. I know what you want to call it, but it ain't. It doesn't feel good to be like having to uh, scrape every little penny by. And then that's why it hurts so bad when I, you know how long it takes me to get $80? Someone threw it out. Oh, right. Um, you know how long it takes me to get eighty dollars not having a job? Like before I started selling stuff on eBay, you're talking about being being crafty. I mean, almost over the line with my my own morals in some situations. But like my neighbor. She was like disabled real bad. She couldn't, you know, go anything, go anywhere or anything. So I just started out cutting her grass, and then she would, like, the first time she she tried to give me twenty five bucks, and I wouldn't take it. Tessa, I'm in the middle of trying to figure that out. I got denied the first time, and everybody I've talked to since then is like, you're supposed to, you know, apply more than once because they're going to deny you the first time every time. I'm probably going to reapply, but it's been so long since I applied the first time that I'm afraid. My doctor, since I haven't been to the doctor um, in a while because he wants me to have surgery, they want to do a fusion on my – I don't want to have the surgery because I don't want to have to uh, be put back on pain medication. So I'm afraid that since I haven't seen him and had like a checkup and a, another um, x-ray and stuff like that, I'm afraid that, I don't know, it's like been too long or something. And I did draw some some uh, disability through my school, which is like, you know, insurance is not Social Security, but I did that with my stroke, and, you know, that that was all right. That wasn't too bad, I guess, but it still wasn't, but like $800 a month or something. I'll get denied three times. <sighs> that's, that's a pain in the ass, a lot of paperwork to fill out. But whatever. If I get in tonight, it's worth it. All right. I'm going to put my hat on so I don't like such a hobo and get this video. I'm setting my camera or my phone the angle up so I, I can just get going. You know? And I, oh, I got customer rep, customer roll quarters. And you guys, you saw that 63 I pulled out of customer roll. I like some customer roll quarters. Just cause it's a, uh, it's a, um, 
thing in my head now. I'm gonna play my hot street with quarters with customer wraps. Yeah, I got this from that same gas station that I picked I picked up these lottery tickets at. So hell. Done check crazy. Oh 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 done check crazy maters. I need to get in on that giveaway too if I'm doing the stream. I <laughs> actually I won't do it. That's a conflict of interest. I will not enter the giveaway for that reason. Um, hopefully it'll just give me enough traffic on my channel that it'll you know give me some subs or something like that. Let's see, I'm gonna try to get the best angle I can get. Yeah. Lee, do you mind if I play your music in the background of this video? I'll do another shout out thing, like, you know. I just I don't know what it is, dude. I gotta have some kind of tunes going. I don't know about you, I just gotta have some music playing. Alright, word. Thank you, sir. In this. this is a brand new tripod, one of the, the, those flex ones, you know, and it hasn't been like, it hasn't been morphed enough to bend easily. So, not really wanting to cooperate right now. I'll get it there. Um, and by the way, last night, everything's good with the wife. No problems at all. She was just like, didn't understand about like, you know, that's what we had like to talk about today. She didn't understand like why on earth I would want to spend like all that time sitting on the internet talking to nobody I know. But like we were talking about last night, Tessa. <laughs> yeah, but if I win, then it'll be people like talking shit about it. So no, I'm not going to sign up, man. It's cool. Okay. Just, um, well, this is a good thing. I can tell you this anyway. Um, you know, like you were talking about last night, like, we know each other decent. Like, we know each other's personalities enough, I think. I mean, we could be completely, like, like dickheads and lying to each other, I guess. That's, that's always a possibility. But, like, I'm being who I am. I'm, I, I, I mean, I look at you in the eye in the camera. I'm being who I am. I don't know what else. I don't know who else to be. Um and what's up Raven? Hello. I know I'm trying to re rename this video. Oh, yeah, I bet it's loaded up by now. And this needs to be behind the scenes name. Um But uh I don't understand spending all that energy on on um faking who you are for this. Got him out. I can't put. I can't spell scenes. All right. Yeah, this video is the behind the scenes video to the one I'm. I'm gonna post after. Obviously, after a, after we get done with it, everything. Uh, I can't see the chat right now, Raven. But that's what I'm just telling you. What's up? I got some lottery tickets I picked up off the ground and in the trash at the local gas station, which is my dad's old gas station. And um, like I was telling them earlier, like. The first time I won a $500 on a lottery ticket was, you're going to hear this again, but the first time I won $500 on a lottery ticket was one I, I bought and I was 16 years old. And then the next time was one I found in the damn parking lot, sweeping the parking lot. Um, <clears throat> so anytime I can take a minute or two to walk around the gas station parking lot or check the trash cans and stuff, I pick tickets out every time. I, I mean, every time I go by. Most of the time, Bonnie's like, "I ain't stopping for you to look like a damn homeless person walk around the the, the you know, the parking lot." I'm like, "Bonnie, you know, 
without a shadow of a doubt that that has worked for me in the past. And, you know, but whatever. She gets bitchy about it. It's like I told my son when he asked why I listen to live streams. Oh, uh, right, right. It's like, it's like, this is me. I don't know if this is you. I don't want to be projecting. Like, I'm insecure about things. <clears throat> uh, probably, probably too, too much to a fault, you know. But I don't have those issues doing this. And so it allows me to express myself in a way that I don't normally get to because I don't get much time around people anymore. You know, being a teacher, I was always around people all the time, a bunch of people. So that, that you know, was a big life changing kind of event thing. Uh, also, it's been a long time since I've been able to express myself through music and, be, and getting nervous and stuff like that. Uh, I have like, you know, like a goal, so to speak. And this has also allowed that. You know, I mean, this has been like a godsend to me. I'm uh, That's one thing I can't take away from, you know, is she kind of helped me bop, bop, you know, bust out of that shell. You did too, Raven. Um, I mean, you were there the first time I posted a video. My God, dude, if I could have, like, a way to express, like, how nervous I was when you, are, when I, you were like, we're watching your video right now. I was like, oh, my God, you know. And now it's cool. It's like I'm settling into, like, myself again. It might be me because I'm streaming as well. Yeah, me too, Justin. I agree completely. Um, I don't have any problem with the lurker, to be honest with you. Um, because whatever, you know. Vicky, what's up? Why won't this Windows? There we go. Well, right now is going to be different at like five o'clock in the morning. You know, if she wants to pop in, she sure surely is welcome. And just because you guys were in here last night when like the wife was getting pissy, everything's cool with that. She just didn't really understand why I like to do it so much, and that's why I was trying to explain it. While I was explaining, you know, so just for Vicky and whoever didn't hear that, I can't remember who was in here. But I'm going to scratch on the video. I'm going to scratch off the lottery tickets. You'll see me do it, like, but you won't see me scratching it. Like, you will see, like, in the video, you'll see, like, the point of view. I'm going to try not to respond if I win anything. I'll be like this. Scratch, scratch, scratch. Not a winner. <laughs> but the people, like, that are watching the video later, you'll be like, you have a hangover? Oh, you have a Matt Molly hangover. Oh, thanks. I don't have a hangover. But I'm getting prepared for tonight later. And it's not really that much left. The fact that that's mu that much is already gone out of this bottle is a bad thing. What is what is going on in my life? My tolerance. I can drink a damn fifth of liquor over five hours and not be like, can't drunk. <laughs> you know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? Uh, anyway, this is just behind the scenes for a video I'm taping, uh, Vicky. I'm going to stop explaining that to everybody that comes in, I promise. Um... And you'll hear what's going on because I've already told twice. And the, I'm sure the dude, dudes and dudettes in here would be tired of that. 
which is just Tessa Lee and Raven, I think, and Maters. Yeah. What do you say no about what I say? Did my liver start with me? In other words, did I get like sick or something? I mean, I, I didn't walk it, wake up with a hangover. That's what it is. Is that what you mean? Thirty-three, and I'm probably gonna hit liver failure around the age fifty. But whatever, it's because it's all the cocaine I used to do. <laughs> That's half a half a joke and half not a joke. I mean, it was, it was good coke too. Good. I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, I mean, it was though. So. It was when I was in college, and it was just like it was just around. That's life, right? And then I kind of settled into the weed, and that's been like my saving grace until the government took it away from me. <laughs> what does he mean? His liver started with him. And friend, he drinks a lot, and I told him. Drinking so much is bad for you, your liver. And he replied, Hey, my liver started with me today. I don't know what that I don't know the inflection I'm supposed to use on that. No, it's just something I say to myself. I, oh, if I drink even one beer. Damn liver started with me. Oh, kinda like um kinda like saying like yeah, it's got it's consequence, gotta do it, I guess. Literally make me do it. Um, I don't know. My dad always used to say, "Can't eat cake. Cake hurts me," and I'd be like, <laughs> "Yeah, that's what that's what the story is about." Say, I'm like, "Daddy, what do you mean you can't eat cake? Cake hurts you. What does that mean?" You're like, "Son, I don't know what to tell you. I love some sweets and you know, love some some steak and everything, but can't eat cake. Cake hurts me." My dad doesn't make any sense. He's like. Yeah, you'll figure it out one day. I'm like, I don't know if I'm ever going to figure that one out. He told me like later that it was something one of his coaches used to say. that he, and The coach never explained what it meant. You know, they, He always said, like, you understand when you get older. And so I guess that's why he left it open like that. Um, all right. I'm going to grab a hat, and I'm going to do my intro to the video. And get going on. Um, I had some Coca Cola stock and drink some liquor. And that's what I do. That's what, that's what I do. What I do. I can't get that song in my head. You have to tell me exactly what it means. I think I don't know what it was just saying 100%. I might know. I just doubt myself, you know. To tell you guys, I've got a copper around that I just never realized it's copper. Copper. That's a uh, harmony mute for a trumpet. It's like what uh, jazz. This is a stem. Is but I guarantee it'll make my scale like stay over the limit. Let me check it. First. 
45 grams, so that's an ounce and uh, well, an ounce and a half almost. I mean, that's gotta be a pound. I think this maxes out at a pound, actually. It would be over a pound. No, it maxes out at 100 grams, which is. How many grams in that ounce? 31, so we should say three. So that's three. So it could be like a quarter of an ounce, or a little, you know, an ounce under a quarter of an ounce. The only thing that's extra on there is the cork that holds it in place, so it's not like it's got other materials in it. You know. I'm sure it's some kind of copper alloy. But the point is, the copper makes a, a very, very brilliant sound when it resonates. Let's have, let's have a chug out. A troy, a troy ounce is 31.1. 31.14 or something, I think. But 31.1, I know that. Um, that's 28 because of all the weighing of uh, marijuana I used to do when I sold it. <laughs> you got to know that number. You know, and boys get that syrup in there. They get a little antsy in their pantsy. I'm just kidding. <laughs> the only reason I remember that number so specifically, Raven, is because when I found out that tro like, like precious metal was weighed that way and sold and traded that way, it, you know, it was kind of like, why? How come? Tell me why. So I had I researched it, and back in the day, and my wife, my mom, back in the day, they. Uh, Um, back in the day, they uh, signed a good. What would you call it? Like an agreement with Great Britain and other countries of the UN or whatever before the UN came came about, and it was based off of um either a person's name or a group of people, or family name. It used to be called a tower ounce. Huh? Yeah, I know standards well, yeah. But the standard and the metric don't have anything to do with the uh why an ounce is thirty one point one grams. Uh, 28 and 30, a gram still weighs a gram, doesn't, like, 28 gram ounce should, um, I mean, you know, why would that be different from the conversion from, uh, metric, standard or standard to metric? I don't understand why we have to use standard, by the way, it's a pain in the ass in my head. You need to do all the conversions, it's a pain in the ass. Oh, I didn't even see this. Uh, it was electrician. He would bring an extra piece of copper, right? Like, I've got a shitload in my garage right now that I just do not want to strip it. Yeah, well, I mean, we do use standard measurements versus, versus the metric system measurements, but this doesn't have to do with that. That's why it impedes my interest. It used to be a tower ounce because they literally like weighed it in some tower in Britain. <laughs> no, Raven, you know you have a good inch, a good amount of knowledge, man. I don't discount you at all. I just when I know the answer to something, I'm gonna tell you that I looked it up and I researched it and I know it. And if I mean, if you want to double check me, then sure, and I'll tell you if I'm not sure to double check it. We had five AKs a year. We were poor. Yeah. 
Um, what is the exact history of why it's called a troy ounce and why it weighs 31.1 grams? It has to do with an agreement that we signed with Britain and some other countries. That's all I remember. Remember the number so so much, Lee? That's what the question is. Hell yeah, 100 bucks is a lot right now. <laughs> Who are you talking about? The 80s. All right, anyway. You guys chat amongst yourselves. I'll try not to respond. Yeah, I agree. How, how else are we supposed to learn and move forward as a society or a group of people? Whatever. You know, it's uh, what I call the big dick competition. Oh, my, my mine's bigger than yours. Like, that's fine, dude. Yours can be the biggest in the world. I don't care if it is. That's the way it is. But don't sit here and tell me it is, and it's not. Jeez. What's, it, what's that matter? Good God. Rocky! Come here. Come here, buddy. You're okay. You're not in trouble. Come here. Come get on the live stream. Come on. Come here, buddy. Don't you don't you be a sissy. Come here. I'm gonna pick you up and carry you over here now. You got to. Everybody's gotta see you. See how pretty you are. I know you're not pretty, you're a man. You're big you're big 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 mean dog that won't when I tell you to your friend my my teacher and throw a bible at you. Come on, buddy. <laughs> I'm like carrying him over here like a baby right now. <laughs> oh god, that was his foot that just knocked that about knocking the mat look slow off. Come here, buddy. It's okay. Boy, come on. All right. Let's see if I can get him to stand up. It's not being a big old puss. Come on, boy. That's okay. Yeah. Come on. There you go. There you go. Come here. Hey, say hey, everybody. Say hey. Yeah. See? Got Brendel on him. He's a mutt. I mean, I don't know what he is. We got to rescue him. Well, he's a good looking dog. He must have been beat, beat or something when there, it, it, from his previous owner because he is real skittish whenever you raise your arms up or get loud or throw Bibles at him. The reason I keep saying it is because I literally did that. The other day, and like, because he got out of the house, and I nailed him with broadside. And he was like, <laughs> "No way, it could have hurt that bad." I mean, it was like a Gideon Bible. That's Rocky. Oh, Buster, you got anything else news? Come here, buddy. I didn't see you there. I'm sorry. Come here. Come here. It's like he's the alpha dog, y'all. Rocky, that big old dog will move out of the woods. Bacon on Buster. Rocky, let him have every one of them. I know what it is. It's that alpha mentality. A lot older than Rocky. <sighs> Got to be breathing hard. It's so dark in here. I might have to open up the damn bottles. Um. I'm going to tell you guys, especially before the wife gets home, because this, the fact that I had my arrows sitting out last night set her off something, you know, because this girl who's a friend that acts more than a friend and probably is too much of a bitch to my wife around anymore, um, gave them to me. Why you got those out? Why you got those out? Why you got those arrows out? I'm like, Talking to someone about arrows and hunting. Right here are just my like practice arrows. So, but hey, check out my, my setup and show my shitty practice arrows. I need back up. Okay. Can't okay, catch up. I missed this. Okay, true. My dad says if you don't know what you're talking about, just make it sound good. <laughs> yeah, for real. Never meant to do wrongdoing. It's a simple character flaw, right? Oh, that. 
I agree with that the same way. I don't think that's like wrong doing though. Like I think that's a, a definitely a character flaw, also a programming flaw. Or a classical conditioning as Sigmund Freud would have called it. Is that Freud? Yeah, he had the dog. No, that's Ivan Pavlov. Sorry. Sorry, I got my psychologist or psych yeah, psychologist mixed. Ivan Pavlov, Pavlov's dog, salivate at the sound of a buzzer, would put a red light up too at the same feed him. Well eventually he took that buzzer away and wouldn't feed the dog, would turn the red light on and he would salivate because he was conditioned to respond. Psychology. Developmental psychology said I respect being called out if I'm in the wrong, but don't call me out if you're wrong, right? I don't give up it's I have no problem being called out. Do it respectfully though. Be wrong if you think that you might be wrong. So I think this is what it is, you know, something like that. Come up and carry him over. Yeah, I'm serious. That dog, I could ride that dog. Oh, yeah, I'm the alpha of both of them, but like, um, I'm not gonna get on my hands and knees and eat, eat the bacon. <laughs> Like when we go out, I can go without a leash on both of them and they'll stay with me. But my mom or Bonnie goes out with them. Those dogs are going to do what the hell they want to do. They'll come over and chill right next to me. I start taking a step. They won't actually, um, oh God, about not this life. Moving until I get far enough ahead of them. Um, into where my stride is, I don't know, like, they'll keep up with me, but they won't get past my last step. Um, anyway, my free book is on hold. Yeah, bullshit. You know, I've, oh, look what was on the front page this morning of the sports section. Glory, glory to a George. See, you understand, like, when I say that, like, in my lifetime, I think Georgia beat Florida three times. Never like they beat them last night. That's a big thing in South in, in Atlanta. Apparently, on the front of the sports section, AJC, AJC the Atlanta Journal Constitution. I can't even talk. The front cover, I mean, the front page is over there, and it does have them on the front, just not the entire page. It's just like a little corner. It says Georgia pounds Florida. Oh, what's up? What's up, Tex Quinn? Quentin? I don't know if you like to be called Quentin or Quinn or Tex. I just don't like saying coin collecting. It makes me think I'm like at the hobby or something. <laughs> hey, hobby in the house. Anyway, demons be gone. After years of futility in the rivalry with the Gators, it's finally the Bulldogs turn and join the party. In an impressive fashion. First game impressive, I'll tell you that. But filling out surveys, God, I forgot about that. I'm going to add that video. I got to make my. That's one thing I told myself I was going to do to make a, a loose script. Because I'm so easily sidetracked. Um, Like Forbes subscription, motor trend subscription. Description, description because of surveys. Um, at least once a week, I'll get to do a survey that pays five dollars and it gets deposited in my, into my PayPal account right away. Did I get another? Oh, okay. See what I'm saying? My body's on the way home. Damn it! Well, it's not a bad thing. It's just gonna interrupt me. So 
our videoing the vid. Ow! That's a pretty girl. You don't see right now, dog. I have this permission, I promise. Just don't tell him I showed you. <laughs> Flip sideways, you son of a bitch. Stupid camera. It's probably because I'm in text. Yeah, it is exactly what I'm going to zoom in on her face. 90 pounder. She is pretty dull. What kind is it, you say? I mean, that my head is like a um, pit. What is uh, color type? <laughs> I don't know. I, mean, I don't want to say like, or not say it if it isn't. If that's why you told me. So I could, you know. Everything, man. I promise. I'm about cars. I do know everything about cars. No replacement for displacement, which is actually pretty. Pretty damn spot on. So work today. That, that's what I did. Uh, Bluetooth connected, so I can. Some music from the. Never mind. Oh, pit wire. Right, 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 right. Black and yellow paracord. For the bracelet, if so, in yellow. That's Georgia Tech colors, man. Are you crazy? I'd have to shoot myself. And then shoot myself if I did that. Unless you got like some sentimental attachment to the colors, and I'll do it. But that means you gotta like come over here and scratch my back because I cannot eat this. I'm trying to scratch. <laughs> Ow! Mmm. Broadhead, scratch my back. I'm just kidding. <laughs> that must be a good thing with like being like 250 pounds and tall as hell because I cannot reach my back in that spot. It's Batman, <laughs> dude. I don't have yellow, and I'm not buying the paracord. Out. If I had yet, look, the reason why is because all I have is or that redneck orange color, black, maybe a little bit of green. I don't think I do. Anymore. So if I just had redneck orange, black, and yellow, or the three, with it going into a deep depression and locking up in. Oh, so it, I'm gonna do it. Yeah, I'm gonna do. I was planning on doing it in just straight black. Didn't you say you was a Texas A&M fan? Won't you get me some of that burgundy? Oh, cool. No problem, Biggie. I got. I do have a, uh, some quarters to go through. Customer wraps because the bank is not open today, obviously. Maroon, right? But you gotta send it to me, or send me like four bucks on eBay. I can get way more than I need to make like ten bracelets. To be honest with you, uh, for three fifty plus shipping, I'll pay for the shipping because I'd like to go ahead and get a, a few different colors. But like, I, you know, I don't have it, and I don't, I don't have any money on PayPal now. If for my note three yesterday I'll do that I'll go ahead and order it 
Um, through in time, then I'll, uh, Deke, uh, anyway, Maters, what I was saying is, I mean, not Maters, Raven, what I was saying is Maters is doing one through me because of my live stream because he has, a, he has trouble uh, doing a live stream or something. And it's on Halloween as well, but I don't think that you're going to interfere because you said yours is like 5 o'clock. Your time or my time? Can't remember that part. I'm going to enter in yours, D coin. Oh, by the way, D, got your slab right here ready to be thrown in the package. Uh, it'll be shipped out tomorrow. As long as I get that damn payment for that phone, I saw that damn Galaxy Note 3 for 100 and Eight for shipping and processing. Shipping and processing. All right, Rip. Peace out, brother. Yeah, so that actually might interfere. Um, he's wanting to do it at eight. Standard. Hey, wait, wait. You're, where, wait, Seekers. Seekers what? Seekers what? Seekers doing something tonight? Him, I'm sub to people. If that's what I need to do, nobody should ever worry about when they stream or when they give stuff away. Do it at the same time. I'll, I'll post my short live stream as a vid to I gotta make this video. If Ten dollars. Uh, the most one was like seventy five. <laughs> okay.